He said, I don't. Y'all, who else like heart dropped? I was so shocked that he said, I don't. He said, I don't. Back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new. Hey girl, hey. So today we are going to be reviewing Love is Blind Season 3, Episode 10. Let's get into it. Before we get into the video though, I have to say, I feel attacked. Okay, I feel attacked. It's no reason why y'all should be watching these videos week after week and not subscribing. Please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out. It's really easy for you to do. So help a queen out and subscribe to the channel and then thumbs up the content. Okay, now let's get into it. So this episode opens up where it left off with Cole and Zeneb just talking about what upset her because she grabbed her stuff and she left, okay? Well, she wanted to leave or well, she was about to leave. But again, like I said in the last um, episode's review, I just feel like they are extremely incompatible and I feel like Cole is childish and it irritates her because she is mature and like i said surely she knows how to have fun and she has a light hearted side to her but i feel like his idea of being fun and goofy is like childish and annoying now let me just say because i feel like i always say like i feel like i'm too young to be as old as i am <laughs> because i feel like i'm fun and you know all of that stuff too and but i feel like I, there is a certain level of maturity that you also have to possess and it can't always just be that and you got to know the time and the place i don't know i just feel like anytime he is being playful with her it always seems like the wrong time but i also feel like that just goes into them not being compatible i feel like she probably doesn't ever want to play the way that he plays like you know what i'm saying because sometimes me and my husband be around here literally like acting a fool like play fighting doing the most acting real childish like it's embarrassing you know if people were to like see us but it's mutual okay i feel like with him and her she don't she don't want to do that she don't want to she does not want to okay and i feel like maybe she, he needs to find somebody that is more his personality speed and then she should find somebody that is less cole's personality speed anyway it is time for the bridal slash bachelorette situation i feel like that was like a bridal shower but then I felt like it was kind of sort of to a little bit like a bachelor party, but you better walk bitches. Okay. They looked so good. All of them. I was like, y'all better come out here and step out and show out. Yes. Get into it. And these men acting like it's hard to be physically attracted to these beautiful women. If y'all don't go to hell. Okay. Cause the girls were stepping. The boys do like rodeo. I, I was like, is that like, is that like a, like normally what the men's do? I don't know. But they did like rodeo and I was like cracking up at Cole's reaction and response to like him getting the necklace off the baby bull. I think that's what that was. My thing with Cole is like, yes, Cole seems like he's fun and he's a fun time. But I feel like it's just it don't turn off or something. And I can, I see him having serious conversations and he can articulate himself very well, but I don't know. It's something about the types of antics that he does that just is very childish and annoying. But anyway, this girl, we off that. So then we find out at the bridal slash bachelorette party situation that Zenup says that she actually talked to, I, I believe she talked to Cole's family and they said that she's not the type of girl that they would see him with and it's like well what y'all trying to say what does that mean 
And then we get Alexa saying like Cole, I mean, uh, Zenim could do better than Cole. And I feel like not to say that like Cole is beneath her or she is above him, but I just feel like they are incompatible. So I feel like she could definitely find somebody better fit for her because Cole ain't it. Cole ain't it. And then it sounds a little shady. His parents saying that. She just not the type of girl that they would see him with. I thought it was so funny that like the girls are out at the strip club having penises shook in their face and the men are with their friends talking about their feelings. <laughs> I was like, yes, <laughs> let's step outside the box, okay? While Matt was talking to his friends Matt is very aware of the things that he's doing wrong and how he is blowing things out of proportion and how he is almost like sabotaging. But it's like, okay, now that you know that you're doing that, let's start correcting that behavior because you are fully aware that you're doing it. So now you need to figure out how to stop doing it or what the root cause of it is to change it because it's annoying, frankly, and nobody is gonna deal with that. So we get more of like the men talking to their friends and all of that stuff. And then it is Raven and SK's wedding day. Now, I had so many, like when I tell you, not like while she was getting ready and stuff, but even when she was like crying with her friends and saying like her friends are basically her family. I want to talk about that again because this whole Raven and her family and SK situation is just for me, right? I feel like unless Raven said to SK and I missed it that I don't like family. I don't care about family. I want nothing to do with my family. I want nothing to do with your family. I don't feel like her not her family not being there or her not having as close of a relationship with her family that he that he has with his should be a problem. I feel like you being close with your family and her not being close with her family doesn't make you any less close to your family. And if anything, I feel like it should be a thing of like, yo, now we are about to be one so I'm going to welcome you into my family and you can cultivate a relationship with them since it seems that, you know, your peoples on your side are not really willing to have a, a closer relationship. And who knows? Maybe they do. Maybe they do have a close relationship and maybe they just don't want to participate in the show. Not everybody wants to be on TV. Um, also, too, Raven said that her friends are like her family and for a lot of people that is the case because let's say for instance you are somebody where you're an orphan and you you had you had the misfortune of not having biological family so you had to kind of like create a family and that family looks like your best friends or your best friend's aunt or whatever the case may be, that is still your family. So she's saying, these are my friends, my bitches, my ride or dies. They are here in the present. They are my family. I also feel like they were almost trying to make her feel bad about her family not coming. And that's not something that she could change. She can't force her family to participate in the show and be at the ceremony if they don't want to. Anyways, but I was like tearing up when she was like crying with her friends and stuff. Wait, so I'll just have to say the reason why I keep scratching at my nose is because my allergies were extremely disrespectful today. So please don't mind that stuff. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I was getting so nervous too. Like throughout this whole wedding scene and them getting ready and walking down the aisle, I was so nervous. Don't leave me hanging. Okay. Were you nervous too? Like, don't leave me out here. I feel like my heart was beating real fast then we get the final moment for them to say their speeches and it was beautiful beautiful and I feel like Raven has started to really like develop something for SK and I really thought she was was gonna say yes and SK says I don't he said I don't y'all who else like heart dropped? I was so shocked that he said, I don't. He said, I don't. 
I almost wish they would have let Raven go first so we could see what she would have said. But then like she walks off and she tried to laugh it off and stuff. But I feel like she was very, very hurt and embarrassed and all of those things. Then I was also too like, where's her friends at? Why didn't her friends come and comfort her? Like SK mother came to talk to her and that was nice and sweet. But I, I was like, oh my God, where are her friends? Y'all better go and console this girl. But that was crazy. Like, I'm, I was not expecting SK to say I don't. I was super shocked. But then we get now, it's Nancy and Bartista's wedding day. And again, I was feeling so shocked. And well, not shocked. I was feeling so nervous. And I was like, Bartista is talking like he's going to say yes. Talking about the speech that, that he want one of his friends to give at the reception. Like, he just knows it's going to be a reception. Like, he's going to say yes. So it's like, if he'll say yes, I'm going to chip him up. And if I don't chip him up, then Nancy brother's going to chip him up. Because don't be sitting here talking like you're going to say yes and like there's going to be a reception if you know you're going to say no. But we didn't get to see what their answers were going to be because the episode went off. And I was pissed because I'm like, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. But the episode went off and we will just have to wait until next week to see what happens. Now, I'm very interested and intrigued to see what Bartista's answer is going to be. And he better go first. Oh, no, wait. Nancy said I do. So, yeah, it's on him. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what he says. But let me know down in the comments what y'all thought of this episode. Give the video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, subscribe if you are not subscribed. And I'll catch you in the next one.